you want to dominate in all aspects of life, the way you interact with other people is more important than anything. The way other people see you is going to make or break your success in any given situation. You cannot close a big business deal if your client does not feel like you can be trusted. You cannot attract a beautiful female if you make her feel awkward. No matter which way you put it, in order to become successful, you need to know how to handle other human beings. And one of the most important skills in this domain is knowing how to dominate a conversation. Conversations make up the vast majority of our interactions with other people. So when you got this down, you will notice your life improving massively. In this video, I will teach you how you can be the one who dominates every conversation. Make sure that you stick around to the end because the last tip is by far the most important one. Let's get started. But before we get into it, please hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Now let's get into it. Tip number five, listen carefully. One of the most important and also one of the easiest things you can do to dominate a conversation is to listen actively. You need to carefully pay attention to what the other person is saying and show that you are interested in what they have to say. The most important part of this is that you don't just act like you are interested, you need to become genuinely interested. Have you ever had a conversation with someone and you could sense that they were waiting for you to finish talking because they could not wait to talk about themselves again? Disgusting. I know that if you are talking about a topic that you are very passionate about, it can be hard to hold back your excitement. This is normal, but you need to control your emotions and keep it cool. Show genuine interest in the other person. Ask open-ended questions that encourage them to share their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. And when you are listening, nod your head and use verbal cues like uh-huh or I see to show that you are engaged in the conversation. This will instantly make people like you. Tip number four, use body language. Having good body language is the easiest way to present yourself as a strong, confident man. The way you use body language will directly influence the way the other person sees you. If your body language sends a signal that you are insecure and closed off, the other person will subconsciously label you as a low value man that are not worth their attention. Here are three quick tips that will optimize your body language. The first one is to pay attention to your posture. Standing up straight with your shoulders back, taking up more space will convey confidence and authority. Slouching, on the other hand, will make you appear smaller and make you look unsure of yourself. This makes you come across as a weak little boy and no one will take you seriously. Keep your feet planted firmly on the ground shoulder width apart and do not cross your arms. Crossing your arms is a way to shield yourself from the world. But if you are a strong and confident man, there is no need. Remember that. The second one is to smile. This one does not require much explanation. When you smile, you appear calm and approachable, making the other person feel more comfortable with you. This will make it much more likely that you will achieve your goal, whether it is to close a deal or land a date with a woman. The third one is to make eye contact. This is the absolute most important tip if you want to appear dominant and confident. It is very common for low value guys to look everywhere inside the room except into the eyes of the person they are talking to. Do not be like this. This signals weakness. I am not saying that you should be afraid to look away, but try to maintain eye contact in a calm, non-threatening way. This will instantly make people respect you. Tip number three. If you are wrong, admit it. This is important. When you talk to someone, it is a good thing that you share your viewpoints and that you are not afraid to share your honest opinion on something. This conveys confidence and people will respect you for it. But if you discover that you are wrong about something, do not get defensive. Do not try to convince them that you are still right. This is very feminine thing to do and it makes it seem like you are desperate for other people to like you. It takes a big man to calmly and without hesitation admit when he is wrong. So if you want to become a big man, you must admit when you are wrong. Tip number two, stay present. 
One of the most powerful traits of the high-value man is his ability to focus. He does not let cheap dopamine distract him from his purpose. This means that he does not spend his valuable time on social media or watching silly little videos on TikTok because he knows that it is a waste of time. When you have a conversation, it is no different. This conversation is now your primary objective, so do not get distracted. If you get distracted by your phone while having a conversation, how do you expect to obtain any value from the conversation? And even worse, how do you expect the other person to respect you when you clearly disrespect them? One of the best ways to gain the respect of others is to show respect. So give them your full attention and don't get distracted. Tip number one, use the power of silence. A typical low-value man will do everything in his power to avoid silence when he is having a conversation. This is because he is scared of awkwardness, so he will keep talking like a fool. But not the high-value man. He knows that silence is not harmful. He is not scared of anything, especially not something as harmless as silence. He embraces it. This exudes massive amounts of dominance and assertiveness. Furthermore, if you are talking to someone and you do not hurry to reply, it will encourage the other person to keep talking. As a result, you remain mysterious while they get to keep talking about themselves. It is a win-win for everybody. But remember this, guys. The most important thing when you are trying to dominate a conversation is to be a genuine, respectful, and good person. These strategies are only helpful if you actually mean it. You cannot fake these, so don't even try. Remember that. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. See you next time.